In today's video, we are going to be trying to catch bait, trying to catch fish, and trying to catch some crabs with one goal in mind, eat whatever we catch and make some tasty food. We are starting the day over here exploring the spot. What we have right now is a bait bucket and a stick. Oh yeah, look at that. See those holes right there? This is prime fiddler crab territory. Fiddler crabs are a very sought after bait this time of year. They're like these tiny little crabs and sheep's head, redfish, black drum. So many different fish love these little crabs, but they're, they're like impossible to find during this time of the year. Like none of the tackle shops have them. Now I've never been successful at this before. You can see there's a bunch of little holes. Oh, I see some, I think I saw some moving. Okay, this might be hard to do with one hand. Dude, there's life here. So from my understanding, oh, there's a little one running over there. See this hole right here? That's right there. There's a fiddler crab in here. We should be able to mess around with this hole a little bit and he should just come out. Oh, dude, there, wait. Dude, it's working. I got him. <laughs> oh, he's trying to pinch me. That actually worked. He's pinching me, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. Okay, put that guy in my bucket. There you go. No, come back, come back. Boom. All right, that actually works. Here is the hall. We've got a maybe like a dozen, maybe a little less than that in there. You can kind of tell the males from the females because the males have the big claw. This bait is like gold. Hopefully this is really gonna help us out today. Let's go over here to the spot. I was scouting this one, but it's kind of ripping here. I think we're gonna go to a different spot. Trust me when I say there's a lot going on here. So we came over, dropped the kayak off at this uh, creek right now. It is very muddy and it's, it's very low. Tide is on its way out in a couple hours, it'll be dead low. But we have three crab traps. Again, these were the ones we were using a couple of videos ago. I have a thing of string in there, disregard that. But basically, drop this down, boom, stays on the bottom. Crab comes in, eats the chicken, and we go whoop. Crab comes into the boat, and then we eat crab. There's a lot I've been learning about crabs recently, and I just want to catch, well, more than one. <laughs> Last time we went out, that's what we managed to do for the first time ever in Florida. I mean, that's not bad. I'll take one, it's better than zero, as I said, but we're gonna try that out for a little bit. Hopefully we get some crabs, we can cook those up later, but we also have a rod, we've got some artificial lures, I got a whole bag of artificial stuff, but again, we also just picked up a bunch of these little fiddlers, and there are some docks that we could go to, hopefully maybe try to get some revenge on the sheep's head once the uh, current kind of chills out a little bit. I don't know, there's a lot that we could possibly do. I'm excited, I just wanna launch this thing, man. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, we are on the water. Whew. It's a little windy today too, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. It's just gonna be interesting. Like it's no secret, right? That tide really affects what's going on out here. Hopefully it affects it today in a positive way. Let's see if I can even, this, this looks kind of shallow, man. Throw a few casts on our way out. Y'all gave me a ton of information last video as far as uh, crabbing goes and what I should be doing. Some people were saying something, some people were saying some other things. I did a lot of research as well. And apparently I didn't know this. A lot of people are saying that there's no size limit on blue claw crabs in the state of Florida and you can take females. There's like no like regulations on any of that, which I did, I did not know. Really would like to hook into something here as well. Wow. Okay, I've kayaked here a couple times before. This is like the lowest I've seen it. It's supposed to go even lower than this, which is crazy. But in theory, right? I think the crabs kind of get swept around with the tide. And they move around to wherever they can eat and stuff, right? If you kind of think about it, like there's less water where they could be in, right? So hopefully that means they'll be in the water where we put the traps.
I just got fish. Fish on. Fish on. First fish of the day. What is that? Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's freaking digging. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, let's go. First fish of the day. We got a nice trout. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, 13 incher. <laughs> Sick, dude. We're gonna let that guy go. Thank you, buddy. I don't think you can keep 13 incher. Let me look real quick. It's been a while since I, I've caught a trout. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I just checked. We are looking for a 15 to 24 incher. That is the slot limit. No less than 15, not over 24. Oh, man. Mucky. By the way, if this reel sounds not the best, it, uh, <laughs> Oh, I thought I just got bit again. It's, it's definitely been through it. Let's just say that. This thing has sand, dirt, mud, salt. I've been using this thing for a while. I need to clean it or something. Basically what happens is that when tides kind of rip around bends, it creates a little feeding zone. Look at that. Oh. Dude, we found them. We found the freaking, we found the fish, man. But yeah, when tide rips around structure and bends, creates little eddies, little feeding zones. And these might be stacked right here. Come on. 15 incher, 17 incher, 18, I don't care. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. All right, that's not a big one either. That is a baby. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he just smacked me. That is not a freaking, that's different. I was not expecting to catch one of these dudes today. All right, look at that right there, man. These teeth are vicious. This is a bluefish. And I've seen people lose their fingers. <laughs> no joke. If you guys wanna see a, uh, oh, not my bait, dude. If you guys wanna see a catch and cook that we did on bluefish, I was catching them in the outer banks earlier in the fall or no, earlier this year in the fall, I'm trying to say. And yeah, man, we did a catch and cook. Not bad, pretty decent. Dude, we are on some fish though. This is sick. All right, let's give this a shot actually. This is a tinier presentation. I thought this was what I was using, but it's a little smaller. Let's just throw it a couple times and see. Loosen that a little bit. Oh no, the reel's getting squeaky too. There we go. Oh my gosh. I mean, there could be flounder in here, redfish. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, we might be into school with these dudes actually. All right. Don't get me wrong. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I just had an idea. Okay, minimum size for the bluefish is 12 inches. That's 11. Dang it. Let's not mess around here. Ugh. Depth check. Okay, yeah. I might just try it all along this right here. So basically, all we gotta do Plop and yoink. Should be good. Let's just go down this line, I guess. And this is just a guess. See um, this little creek mouth right there? That's kind of where we caught that one last time. Somebody else has a trap over there now. Yoink. All right. So we have one there and then two behind it, just kind of in a row. We'll see. There's no harm in seeing. All right, let's focus up. I don't know what the heck that is floating there in the water. 
Let's get these traps. Let's get this bread. If there's nothing in them, I'm just going to bring them up onto the poop deck. So the tide is coming out. So the trap should be that way. All right, and essentially it's a basket. So there are some that like close and do other things. But the basket, once you get to the basket part, you just want to yoink it so that the, tra the crab doesn't come out of the trap, right? And nothing, what the heck? Don't do this to me, trap. First trap, no go. And no. That's okay, that's good. This is market research. I'm not even gonna lie, it's a lot harder to, to get these buoys than you'd think when you're kayaking like this. Nobody home. And a lot of you guys were like, yeah, don't use those traps. I'm starting to think like maybe we should test another one out at some point. All right. So I just unloaded the traps at somewhere. I, I don't know. I just thought it looked good. We are now paddling more down this creek. Look at that though. Somebody has a pot. It's completely out of the water. Hopefully there's no crabs in there that are will be burning. Interesting to see if there's any crabs. Let me see. Oh yeah. Wow, look how clear that is. You definitely see the drop off. I think it gets pretty deep right here. Around this bend. I don't know why sometimes I, I talk quiet. I'm trying to be sneaky, stealthy. By the way too, I just had to say, if you notice, we're in pants. It is a warm day out here today in Florida. But one thing you learn, and you learn it pretty quickly, is that there are little gnats. And little, little tiny biting gnats. Even if it's windy, like today's like kind of breezy, they'll find, you know, the two seconds, 0 0.2 seconds, where it's not windy. And they'll give you a, a rough time. Them things... Oh my gosh, dude, those things are freaking annoying. It's the day I learned my lesson. I actually was getting bit up when I was trying to get the fiddlers earlier. And I was like, no, 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 this is not happening. That's one of the really cool parts about low tide fishing, too, is that sometimes, I mean, it's just like, you see, bop! big splashes and see the redfish or trout or whatever blowing up on the minnows or whatever the heck these little bait fish are wow look how cool that looks so weird so that all gets filled up by water but right now it's just a big mud pit looks like somewhere you like like a like a atv trail or something you gotta be careful though because you cannot step foot most of the time on that stuff like quicksand mud like that will be gg for you if you jump out of a boat or kayak into that thing it'll lose your darn shoe and your mind trying to get out of that i'll say i didn't warn you There's a fish. There's a fish. What do we got? Whoa. Wait, what is that? I have not seen it yet. Oh, that might be him. Hold on. Are you, no, ah, are you 12 inches? Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, that's over 12. 
That might have been what chased me earlier over here. These things are hyper, hyper aggressive. We have some videos on the channel back in Delaware where we caught some giant woods off the beach. And uh, yeah, they're just a very aggressive species of fish. You throw anything shiny, you throw anything moving, they are not shy, I'll tell you that. All right, these things have been sitting here, man. Like sitting here, sitting here. They're all kind of like relatively in the same area, which probably isn't the smartest thing, but we're gonna put some in better spots. There was actually somebody fishing in this little creek mouth earlier when I wanted to do that. So we're gonna move one over there and just kind of spread them now. But we have premier bait. So let's see if there's anything in this. Yeah, I mean, you almost want to be like right over top of it when you. Anybody home? No. Nothing in that one. That's okay. All right, we're gonna call Audible real quick. All right, so here is what we just did and what we are going to do. Let's get that out of there. So this creek mouth looks like money. So basically what we've got going on here is the same setup. We still have the chicken, but on this one, as y'all can see, we have a piece of bluefish steak. All right, that dude is out there. I want to get one a little bit closer in to this creek mouth. This looks pretty interesting. How deep are we talking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the one I'm going to have the most faith in because this is the creek mouth, which just looks good. But also, we hooked this dude up with the juicy bluefish head and chicken. I might try right here actually. It's pretty deep and it's along this edge. Right in this little like eddy sort of thing. Just drop that right there. Boom. So that is just chicken. This looks actually perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for some freaking crabs, dude. Again, I don't, do we know what we're doing? It's just the fun part about doing stuff like this. You, you never know, you know? Oh, freaking turtle, dude. It's like a sea turtle. Oh, that's so cool. There's a pelican out there chomping on stuff. I think I might switch over too. Um, I've been throwing the smaller lure around. Might either make it a bigger minnow style, just to see if we can attract something maybe a little bit larger, or maybe put on a shrimp. The water clarity is kind of, I don't know, it's weird. I guess it, it's kind of blowing, tide's moving a little bit. It's, it looks like it's almost getting murkier. It was super clear earlier. Maybe we'll put something on, uh, these fish can see better or something. So far, really only getting the attention of bluefish, which I don't, you know, I'm down. It'd be cool to get something else though. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Nothing. Just ahead. And we have a leg. Oh boy. We're gonna have to explore different creeks for sure, for sure. And different tides. Again, let me know if you guys have any suggestions on stuff. 
I think what we're gonna do with this tide we got going on, it's kind of blowing. But I think that, yeah, I wanna hit where we caught that trout earlier super fast with the artificial. And I mean, we got these fiddlers. We got the time, we got the daylight. Let's head over um, to some docks that I can kind of paddle to and see if we can get revenge on the sheepies. Or get some redfish or black drum or whatever wants to, whatever wants to bite. Whoa. I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get. There's a giant cannonball jellyfish. Can you see that right there? I don't wanna get beached. That thing is huge. Looks like he's low-key beached. Should be good, the tide's gonna come in here in a second, I think. If you guys wanna see though, I know those are around here. People actually eat those. So if you guys wanna see like a catch and cook, I don't even know if you cook them. I don't know anybody who eats jellyfish, but I know people do, and I know that's one that you can eat, so. If you possibly would wanna see that in a future video, let me know. I think we're gonna go back to the initial bridge because this just looks very sketchy out there and the wind is pushing me this way. I can't paddle with the feet, so I'm just getting, it's like a, it's, oh, it's a workout. It's not quicksand. I kind of want to see something real quick. So usually this is all underwater, right? I'm wondering if maybe this spot is like clammable. Yeah, you know, I have no clue. Maybe we'll have to give it a shot sometime. I was kind of looking for if there's any clam shells like on the surface. This right here, kinda. Shells. What? Well, no crabs. We have, what are these? They're not conch, right? I don't know what the heck these things are. Oh, it's a little hermit crab, that one is. Oh, they're all little hermit crabs. What the heck? Oh, this one's like really shoving it in his face. That's a big one. Holy. Well, <laughs> we caught crabs. And there's nothing in that one. Maybe they told their friends. They tell them I was coming. I mean, we still have a chance, to be honest. Oh! I cannot believe that. Get out of here. Look, this guy's got some oysters growing in his shell. That's interesting. Get out of here. Not today. Like, how smart is a crab? Like, if he eats my chicken and then I bring him up, but he escapes, like, Will he eat it again? All right, y'all, it is an absolutely gorgeous morning. Today is the freaking day. We are gonna be going to a local dock here, and we are gonna be trying our best, putting the nets in, trying to catch some freaking crab to take back home. As I said, it's pretty early. We got the birds chirping. It is a beautiful freaking day. It's not wasting time. Let's get over there, see what we can freaking do. All right, y'all, so here is what is going on. Basically, if you've seen the past couple of videos, we've been trying to crab, but we've been trying to do it from the kayak. It worked, kind of. But I think what might work here a little bit better, look at this, we got a chicken back in there. I went to the store, those were che cheaper than the chicken legs were. Let's drop this thing right out here. So today we are at a pier. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Put one there, boom. We're doing construction on a house near here, so if you hear any noises, 
That's what that is. All right, two chicken backs in. Shallow, middle, and deeper. So what I've kind of learned here in Florida about crabbing, right? Right now it is February. This is apparently not the best time to be crabbing. It's a little bit slower, but that does not mean it cannot be done. And also, you guys know I've been trying to uh, trying to figure out where these crabs are when I've been out kayaking. We haven't really done a great job of that. We caught one. But here, especially like around piers and stuff, they love this structure. Tide is about to be on its way out. It's a beautiful freaking day. I might go get my pants real quick to see if anybody is lurking around. This is the first one we threw in. Pants secured. It's no joke if you if you're fishing around here or doing anything in northeast Florida area. These little gnats are no joke, man. By the way, I think um, each crabber slash fisherman is allowed to have five traps each. So we could have two more. Maybe next time we'll have to cop a few more. Anybody home? First time pulling up the deepest trap. What do y'all think? nothing we actually are gonna move in this one even further come on crabs there's people fishing here too i don't see anybody catching anything fishing wise but cool thing again about florida is that um whoa i didn't even notice there's so many crab pots out in the water here jeez but there is actually no like particular size limit on crabs, which is, is a good and a bad thing? I still want to keep them probably at five inches plus, like point to point, just like the bigger ones, you know? And you don't really ever want to keep too many females, especially the smaller ones. We'll see if we can catch anything. Give it another minute here and then we'll yoink them and check. Dang, that sucks. That guy that came and was fishing here, I don't know if y'all could see, that's his, like half of his rod, his tip of the other half just broke. I heard a ch even his bobbers down there, his line. So, so far, we're not having, you know, the craziest day or even that, that you know, catching a crab. No signs of life out here yet. The tide, you know, never know, can bring stuff in. Hopefully though, that guy has a better rest of his day. Getting toasty out here. You're supposed to get up to 80 today. I'm hoping with the outgoing tide is gonna bring some crabs out of that creek and just kind of sweep by here. I think they kind of move with the tide. I will say this is a super gorgeous spot. The one thing though is that there is no wind. So we have to stay moving so these gnats can kind of like stay at bay. Cause if you kind of sit, they all just kind of zzzz. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dude. We got one. That's a big one too. Oh this is, it's been four hours. Holy crap man. <sighs> nice mail. Oh look at the blue too. I've been here for four hours. This is the first crab I caught. <laughs> yeah. I see him jumping a little bit. Oh that feels so good. I was like dude. Where should I go? Trying to find different spots. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. That is a crab. It's definitely not a keeper. Hold on, buddy. Oh, there he goes. That's the second crab we've caught in that trap. I think we might definitely keep that one there. Let's check this one real quick. This tide is moving, it's getting windier. Things might be picking up a little bit. 
and things to definitely not pick up. But that is all good because we have what we came for. So I started boiling some water. We threw the crab in, did a little dance. And if you read the title of this video, you see what is about to go down. We are going to be making some homemade crab rangoon. I have never done this before. Hopefully it's going to work. So we boiled the crab for a few minutes. Look at that. It's starting to change color. Look at taste. And boom. Back in the kitchen with Chef First State. I'm not gonna lie, I know, but probably a lot of y'all thinking, how are you gonna make food with just one crab? Let me tell you, these crab rangoons might honestly have more crab, like real crab in them, than some of the ones that are even sold out there in the restaurants. All right, so here's our bowl of crab meat. I'm not gonna lie, I was eating the crab as I was picking it as well. I probably shouldn't have done that. Either way, this is the crab meat we have. We are just gonna put some cream cheese in the here. This is some nice whipped cream cheese. A little more boom we're just gonna mix this up real quick a little soy sauce mix that up and that is what we are looking at now people will do a bunch of different things they'll put green onions they'll put different sauces maybe lime i think that that should be good i mean this is fresh crab we just want that good good taste now this is where things get interesting these are wonton wraps i have never worked with wonton anything i, I never done made no wontons how do you open the wrapper to the wrap? All right, let's test this out here. Again, I am not a professional by any means. I am an extreme beginner. So let's get this wrap right there. Put that on that. Now there's a couple different ways you can make these wontons. I think first I'm gonna try the simplest way I've seen. So you dip your finger in some water and then you outline the edge. This will get it to stick to itself. All right. And this is supposed to be the simplest way to do it. You just go like this then. And boom, a little wonton triangle, a little bit's coming out there, but that should be fine. All right, let's try to get a little bit more intense here. Yeah, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look. I mean, that's that's a different different style for sure. All right, and here we go. Four stuffed Rangoons. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you guys know I have an affinity for my air fryer. We just preheated this. I put a little bit of oil in there, and we are just going to stick these dudes. Boom. Boom. And I hit them with a little bit more oil. Do 350, five minutes. Please let me know down in the comment section below what other recipes you guys like to see. Chef First State 2023 stepping up its game. Gordon Ramsay, you better watch out. There's a new chef in town. Oh, hello. Were you sent by Gordon Ramsay? As far as crabbing goes, I think that I'll save like the ring nets and all that kind of stuff. Probably for like the warmer weather months here in Florida, unless something changes, I don't really know. Doesn't seem to work super great, but everybody's like, yo, you need to just get a pot and let it sit there for a night or however long. That seems to be like the easiest way to freaking do it. And like a surefire way to get crabs. So I don't know, maybe I'll pick one of those up. It's hard because we live in a camper, so I don't really have places to store big old pots. Let me know down in the comment section below. This is our first time taking a look. Boom, okay. Okay, we had a little spillage. Hold on a second. All right, here is a better look. A little bit of spillage, but that looks, it looks crunchy, it looks good. The triangles definitely look better as far as just presentation goes, but this one looks kind of, it's cool, it's unique. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let them sit for a little bit. Boom. This thing looks pretty good. Let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh. This is one of the best things I've ever made. I'm not even joking. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, dude. These things are about to get demolished. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Let's keep it rolling. See you guys next video. These are freaking fire, dude.